Hello and welcome back to Homesteading Northern Michigan. This is going to be a quick little video. We're going to run my panels in series and we're going to test them to make sure that they're putting out the voltage you're supposed to be. It's a beautiful day. I haven't washed them yet, but I have got them lagged down. The brackets and the back, I'll show you here in a second, are shimmed and screwed. So she's straight and uh, everything's even for the most part. Like it's a little tight down there, but it's not noticeable. I probably shouldn't even have said anything. So I'm gonna put these boards on the side to cover up the framing that was left over. I got a couple more lags to do. This video is actually coming out before yesterday's, but I started uh, securing everything with lag bolts. And it looks kind of funny. Uh, one of them broke. It's still in there, but it, it broke. Yeah, so I ran one in the center there. But yeah, so I'm gonna run a cross member over here to there because all the rest have one so i'm gonna do that but everything's secure and solid i just want to get these lags up here the rest of the way down and then i'm going to run another two by six underneath here from post to post it'll give it like a scissor action in case anything comes loose there's a lot of weight under here but here's the the guy to shim some of them my brackets I made weren't perfect, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Um, this one, the brackets are on the other side. That was the first one I did. So, but they're, they're good. They're good. So, let's get these uh, tested out and see what they're reading. And we're going to link some in series, depending on what the voltage reading is. Uh, it's pretty, it's clear day out. So... Super sunny. Should get maximum output on these, so let's get her going. Alright, so we got our we have our meter hooked up. We have it powered on. Don't even know which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Let me look this stuff. Probably should have did this first, huh? I don't think they'll register both ways. So we're going to put this in here. We have 39 volts. 39.9 coming off this. I can't run these. I thought these were 24 volt. Oh, wow. I thought these were 24 volt panels. These are not 24 volt panels. Well, this changes everything. Okay, so I can only run two in series. So now we run two in series here. We're at 80.4 volts. All right. So that's what I have to do. I have to run them like that because I'm using a 48 volt system and I'm pretty sure my MPP controller, uh, my MPPT controller, is not going to support over 100 volts going in for a 48 volt system so i may change this coming up winter so really i don't know i got to do some research on that um I, and to be honest with you i haven't even looked up the controller i'm looking at purchasing yet um 
fully to see about the input voltages because when I was looking them up, it was before I even bought these panels. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to deal with here is linking these up in series just two to series that's crazy Let me get these tied back up here the way they were these two so I'm just gonna double check this but I'm pretty sure we're good here eighty point three okay we're good we got eighty volts here all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run through and I'm gonna link them all together like that so I'll figure out how to tie these up later on down the road and get the wiring conduit or whatever I'm going to use uh, when we decide how we're going to do everything so this is just a quick little video to show you how I'm running these in series and to give you an update on my beautiful solar array so yeah let's get her going <laughs> about 80 volts each a little over um, the Sun isn't even directly on them yet uh, you can see that they're on a 45 this is early early today uh, I'm gonna get this video up super fast for you guys but uh the Sun is right here um, and you can see that the panels are aimed this way uh, the reason I have the panels aimed this way uh, is because I have trees over here um, and uh, the winter time the sun's a lot lower and it's a lot more this way so the sun, the winter time is going to be the worst time for me as far as charging um, because it's so low that in the peaks winter it's below the trees but it still shines through so I'm going to clear out as many trees as I can and that's why I have so many panels in my array here is because the winter time will be a lot dimmer and I want to still be able to charge so that's why I said in the winter time I might be able or I might be having like a switch hook up I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but uh make it to where they either run in series or with three panels or two panels depending on how I have to do it there's my Sasha 
So I'd like to thank you for watching Homesteading Northern Michigan. Um, this this project's super exciting to me. I'm really proud of it. Uh, it's turned out so far. It's turned out absolutely amazing. All the panels test uh, good. They're higher voltage than I thought they were when I purchased them. I must have been looking at another link, another store. But uh, I'll have the link to these ones. I've got these for under 40 bucks a piece used on eBay. They all test out good. Um, Santan Solar on eBay. I got the link to his store in the description. Uh, his list price was $45 per panel. And I think I ended up paying 37 I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Get a hold of them. Talk to them. It was a really good deal and everything checks out good. I have no issues, no complaints. Shipping was good, all that stuff. So once again, I'll put the link in the description and you guys have a blessed day. Peace.